today I just want to uh, talk to you about the slackline. I'm no slackline expert, but it's uh, it's a very good tool to play with uh, balance. Now, why it's really important is because in the Tai Chi, quite often we take the hands for granted. We take balance for granted. And so our hands are very low and we're moving and we're doing pathetic things with our hands. When we're on the slack line, we realize we really need the hands to keep our balance. It really forces me to start using my center. If you could see my belly muscles, you'd see them working overtime and I have to drop my hips down. I really have to get my hips down to stay in, let's go into one leg. If you go into one leg, for me in a way I actually find it easier because I can help balance with this leg. This leg can be up, it can be down, it can be moving in different ways. And less and less. Side. So it's like sticking. So he's still, he's forced to use his hips. So I'm giving him less and less and less. So he's under his own control in some way. Now he starts doing, Dunny hasn't got too much fear of falling. Okay, so he's allowed to, he can easy get up there and throw himself around and he's not too scared. This is a big thing. And this is what you're trying to let go on Tai Chi. 